Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've done a video like this. In fact, I think I only did one other video like this. So I wanted to let you guys know about some products that I am just not a fan of. Products that I would not repurchase. Products that were just fails for me. Please, please keep in mind that just because these products do not work for me and I do not prefer them does not mean that they won't work for you or that they're terrible products. Everyone has different skin types, different skin tones, you know, we all have different preferences and products and makeup and so let's just jump right into it. The first product, I have everything here in a little bin, so the first product is the St. Ives Blem Blemish Control Green Tea Gel Cleanser. I actually purchased this months ago, as you can see it has been used. I thought it would be a good product for me just because I do have a little bit of discoloration on my skin, I have some redness on my cheeks mainly, and so I thought, you know, it's supposed to calm redness, why not? I used it a few times and I never really, I didn't see anything bad about it, but I, I started to notice that I was getting breakouts and I don't ever break out. Like I very rarely get any kind of acne or any kind of blemish and normally when I do it's from a product. But my brain didn't process it until about the third time that I used this and I'm talking the third time like in a span of a few days. Like I used it for about a week here quit using it because I didn't really care for it, used it about a week here, quit using it. So about the third time I did that, I started noticing that this was making my skin break out and this was making my skin dry, which makes sense that it would be drying. So it just, I will never, ever, ever again use this product. The reason it has been used so much is because, like I said, I used it for a few days at a time without realizing that it did anything or that it, it caused that for me. And then also whenever I was just desperate or I was, you know, I didn't have a cleanser, I ran out of my preferred cleanser, I grabbed this, but I will never use it again. So that's the St. Ives um, Green Tea Gel Cleanser. Another one is this Ramel. London bronzer. It's in Sundance 027. Um, this is another product that I've actually had for a really long time, but I just realized that I don't ever use it. There goes my dog barking at something outside. Um, I don't ever use it, and the reason being that in the packaging it looks it looks like a nice shade of brown, but. All right, let's continue where I left off before the dogs went berserk. Um, so yeah, this product, in the package, it looks like a nice shade of brown. And when you put it on your finger, it looks a nice shade of brown. But then when it goes on your skin, when it goes from finger to skin, it looks so orange. And it is the nastiest color orange, <laughs> if that's even possible. I'm no skin shades in general. The orange just doesn't work. But... It is just, it's chalky, it has way too much shimmer, making it unnatural, and it is so orange, and I don't ever, ever use it, so this product is going right in the trash. Next, we have some products. Okay, listen, when I was a kid, story time, when I was a kid, I used to only use CoverGirl. That probably is because I watched America's Next Top Model. I was obsessed with it, and at the time, I don't know what they're doing now, but they were sponsored by CoverGirl, and so we used CoverGirl. That's what we bought in our house. That's what my mother bought, and I stopped using them as I got older and started purchasing my own makeup because I realized that the quality wasn't as great. But I started hearing about really great things about CoverGirl, particularly from channels like Eleven Gorgeous that are, did a sponsorship with them. And so I was hearing that they had kind of revamped all their formulas and it had gotten better. But so far from what I see, it has not gotten better. I purchased this quad called Ice Princess and I purchased it because my daughter was having a frozen birthday party and I thought, you know, I need some purple shadow so I can kind of, you know, recreate the Elsa look. And it it was just bad. It was horrible. It is there is no pigmentation. Even if I sit here with my finger and push into the color, it barely shows up on my finger. And you know, when you try to put it on your eye, I felt like I was digging into my skin. I was trying so hard to get the product to stay on my eye. And that was using um, NYX Jumbo Pencils. That was using a primer. It just didn't work. So this CoverGirl Quad, I will never purchase one of these again unless I hear that they've kind of revamped the formula and it's gotten better. But it's not worth my money. It, it doesn't stay on the skin for anything. The little bit of product that I finally did get on my skin it did not last for longer than two hours, so no thank you. 
And then I don't know what what I was thinking, but I was like, well, let's try a different CoverGirl product. And I got a CoverGirl Trio. Another horrible product. It just doesn't work. The pigmentation is not there. The lasting power is not there. And I'm sorry, CoverGirl, but right now your products just aren't working for me. Next is actually, this is going to be kind of surprising because I actually have a product that I love from this brand. But this is the 100% Pure Fruit Pigmented Brow Gel in Taupe. It's just... I don't think the product itself is that bad. I think as far as brow gels go, it's okay. Um, but I think it's the color, really. I got it in taupe, which I believe there was one shade darker than taupe. And as you can see, it is way lighter than my brows. And so it ended up making my brows look really ashy. And not only did they look ashy, but because it was a gel product, it made... It looked even funnier because when it adhered to my actual brows, that part looked super thick and dark. And then you would have parts that I filled in that just looked light. And it looked like I had no idea what I was doing with my brows. So I am just not a fan of this. And then to go with that, this is a 100% pure lip gloss. It's fruit pigmented, 100% natural juicy lip gloss. And I don't know what color it is actually. It doesn't have... A name on it um, the color itself is nice the color I use this for my daughter the problem is it doesn't have any pigmentation it takes a lot to get this onto your lips it comes with like one of those just you know regular little um, lip gloss things but there's no product on it when I take it out of the tube there's hardly any product on it so I sit here and I kind of roll it around and try to get something on it and even when I do get some product on it, it just doesn't produce a lot of pigmentation on the skin. That being said, I am obsessed with 100% Pure's natural lips. I guess they're, I don't know what they're called, like lip balms or they're kind of like the lipstick of 100% Pure. But that product I love. If you have a child that likes to kind of play around with makeup, I would suggest getting something like this maybe in a darker color for them if you wanted to get them like a little play set that they can use themselves but in terms of adult high quality makeup this lip gloss just doesn't do it next these products are going to be a little obvious but I figured I would point it out anyways just in case somebody saw it and thought they would buy it um, I actually got this. This is the Fantasy Makers by Wet n Wild palette. I actually got this for Halloween. I thought it would be fun to kind of play up with the look that I was doing. And I mainly got it for the white color. Um, and this is the glitter palette. It says 12603. And I got this from Walgreens or C CVS, I believe. Um, and it wasn't like a dollar store makeup. I mean, it was whatever. And it's nice. It, you see, it comes with the all the colors are glittered. And then the white is super, super shimmery. Um, which is why I got it for my daughter. Because she was Elson. So I kind of made like a, a glisten, snow-touched effect on her face. But in terms of, again, adult high-quality makeup, it does not... It just doesn't work. Because these glitter shadows, I tried using them for a Christmas look that I did and the glitter doesn't really transfer to the eye so again it's kind of like a pigmentation thing you don't see what you see in the palette you don't see on your eye what you see in the palette so that was another fail and then another one that I got for Halloween this is the NYC individual eyes palette in 003 super chica um, again it just it's another one that doesn't work the colors of the shadows are super pigmented so if you I don't know again I might buy this for a, a child but um, the shadows are super pigmented the black though is like more of a gray it's not as dark as it appears in the palette itself but the main reason I want to point this out is because it comes with a highlighter shade um, I don't even know what they they call it a highlighter shade and okay this is supposed to be a primer a base which I've never used, so I can't really talk on that. Um, and then this is supposed to be a highlighter. The problem with this is that if I'm recording a YouTube video and I put this highlighter on my face, it's fine. 
because it makes a really nice reflection, which I'm not even paying attention to where I'm putting it right now. Um, but it makes for a really nice highlighter for a video if you have like pretty severe lighting going on behind you. But in terms of everyday use, this is way, way, way too harsh of a highlighter. So I would not recommend this product unless, again, you are buying it for a child to kind of put into their little play stash of makeup. So those are all my product fails. I hope that you got something out of it and that you, I don't know, I want to hear what you think about them. Preferably, or I guess I most want to hear what you think about the CoverGirl palettes because I had heard such great things for them about them and I was, you know, I was really holding out hope for them but they just didn't work for me. So maybe you have some application tips or maybe I just got a bad batch but I would like to hear from you. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye!